what's up everyone so no one wants to trade with the lakers and i'm not shocked so it seems so this post by basketball forever so it seems no one wants to trade with the lakers unless they offer both their available first round picks 2027 and 2029 according to mark stain but la is still winning it is still only willing to trade one of them despite desperately needing to shake up the roster true i mean um the Lakers are at an impasse. Um, Russell Westbrook, he opted in to that $47 million. Uh, AD and LeBron James are in max contracts, so it really limits their cap flexibility. They are not able to sign uh, quality role players to put alongside that trio, and it, has, it led them to not even making the playoffs last season. And uh, this is the whole situation. Unless they... Uh, agreed to buy out Russell Westbrook, which I heavily, even I tweeted about it. I was like, is there a way they could find, like, uh, work out a buyout the way the Houston Rockets worked out a buyout with John Wall and uh, John Wall subsequently left uh, to join the LA Clippers in free agency. So that's one thing that they should have done so that they can free up some cap so that they can be able to at least sign some, sign some quality free agents to pair alongside lebron because lebron is getting up there in age i'm a huge lebron fan don't get me wrong but lebron is going up there in age uh ad is so injury prone russell westbrook very unreliable doesn't have to have the highest winning percentage so getting quality people uh it was was not even uh, uh it, it was not even like we we're saying that they need to get it was a necessity for them it was a necessity for them to get quality people so around uh, LeBron James, especially uh, with him uh, approaching like that age, you know. So nobody wants to trade for no. Nobody wants to interact with the trade in the Lakers unless they put up their 2027, 20, 2029 20, first round picks. So uh, yeah, that's the whole situation. They only have vet minimum contracts, mid level exceptions. You know, uh, it's and it's not look. It's it's looking bleak, especially going into this season as. Uh, this new season as, as a lot of teams are retooling around the league and the Lakers are just uh hard i can just i cannot say hard cap but they don't have any money to offer to sign so um just like in the whole golden state situation where you have four players on max deals they're not able to retain the services of a gp or an auto porter because they didn't have any cap space to sign them the same thing that is going on with the lakers they have three players uh, taking up a lot of cap and it's where it's crazy it's crazy uh russell westbrook is getting uh, 47 uh lebron james about 40 38 40 ad also the same so uh, yeah so let's just go through the comments ah yes weekly report on the same situation <laughs> this guy just it, it, it's just um then he basically the guy replied gotta keep you up to date with the laker news i mean i mean it, it's just crazy I'm not talking, I'm not taking the Lakers problem for one pick. Other teams are a little wiser. So, uh, yeah, they really, this other guy said, they really need to desperately stay healthy, not shake up the roster. Obviously, Kyrie is a huge upgrade, but if LeBron and AD can play most of the season, they'll be pretty decent, in decent shape. So, understand that LeBron James is getting older. I don't know, I don't know why... Uh, Okay, Father Time has been graceful to LeBron because this man has been living well. AD is injury prone. After that uh, bubble run and they won the championship, it's all, oh, it's all downhill. I mean, um, they were knocked out in the first round by the Phoenix Suns. And yeah, you know, uh, they got uh, Russell Westbrook, who is very inefficient. Although he played, um, he, only, he only missed four games last season. And he was one of the guys that were, were expected to at least step up and give some production alongside LeBron James and AD, but that didn't happen, and they didn't even make the playoffs. So, so four year, two eighty million for LeBron. If he resigns with the Lakers, man, that's a lot of money to commit, especially for a guy who's um uh, above thirty uh, above thirty six. So uh, yeah, I mean, LFM Mayo. That's one way to affect LeBron's legacy. Let GM. <laughs> They're trying to scare, secure Bronny. Ah, that's funny. The only thing I'm waiting right now is LeBron to be number one in scoring and for him to play with his son. He, he, even the Cleveland Cavaliers would be okay. So KD for Bron Loki, a good offer? No. 
this is not gonna happen there's no way uh kd for that kd brown swap is gonna is gonna happen I, I don't think it's gonna happen the lakers have no assets to trade through after they sold the farm to get ad uh it's been all downhill for the lakers especially for their draft capital and the carry to la i really doubt that i'm not sure if the lakers or and the brooklyn nets are going to pull the trigger on that especially considering the fact that if it's a Kyrie Westbrook swap both teams are on expiring both players are on expiring deal so they can you know just play out the season and just opt out or not even opt out then become unrestricted and go somewhere else so not sure not sure about that LA gonna is, is gonna have a rough future when it's all said and done with no first round picks coming in true especially uh, after selling the farm for AD, I mean, it's, it's all downhill for the Lakers. Ron ain't getting another ring, sadly. Uh, this is something that is highly likely. If uh, the Lakers continue to manage the front office like this, they're not going to get a, get a ring. Only because it's the Lakers. <laughs> give, those, give those draft picks. We have the talent to in the G League. No need to hold on a pick who will be traded at the the following season so yeah <laughs> because no one wanted bumbrook <laughs> i mean it was westbrook bumbrook i mean my man you're trusting this dude as a source <laughs> yeah i mean no one's traded the lakers i can go on and on this is just a sample of comments i just want to you know just uh, look at them and also just get my two cents on this whole situation and uh yeah, so no one wants to trade with the Lakers. I don't know if uh, the the players don't want to NBA players don't want to play alongside LeBron James, or they just can't stand the dysfunction with the Lakers. So uh, that's just that's just uh, my opinion on it. So if you guys like the video, like the video, make sure you leave your feedback down in the comments. What you think about this whole situation with the Lakers, the the Lakers front office not having the ability to negotiate about or even trade away Russell Westbrook for anything they can get, and uh, yeah. I'm out. I'm going to see you in the next upload.